Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the still segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing today is just a quick overview of the reports side pane extension. Once it's installed, it'll come over here as a new button under the main UI uh, beneath the applications and component catalog button. You can just click it to open it. And what this does is that this can replace the out of the box report uh, dialog box here. It has the same uh, options here as far as running your reports and that sort of thing. But it also includes a bunch of additional features that aren't available here in the main out of the box tool. The first one being that you can come in and you can organize these reports into different folders, uh, into individual groups and subgroups just to make it more clear. You can also come in here and filter any of these reports at any time. So if I wanted to find where my HTML reports are, I can just click on that, expand all these groups, and then here are all of these HTML reports that are available to me. One of the other nice things about this as well is that you have the ability to come in and run multiple reports at one time. So if I wanted to come in and run this advanced bill, for example, my assembly list and an assembly list bill of material, I can just select all that, hit create from all, and then it produces all those reports for me instead of having to come in and run these reports uh, one by one. Some other uh, features and options that are available is that over here on the additional options, I can include a prefix and a suffix to my reports, and I can also uh, timestamp these with any date or, or information that I would want. So for example, if I had specific settings for my Fabricator A on this job one and I wanted uh, that specific timestamp, then I could just come in and set those settings up, uh, hit create from all, that will produce the report. And then if I look at the model folder here, search by date modified, then I can see here's my Fabricator A with the name of the report, here's my job one, my suffix, and then the timestamp in any format that I would want. So the main benefits of this tool is that you can organize these into individual groups and filters. You can customize uh, which reports are visible and which ones are not. You can organize this tree view any way that you would want. You can filter by it. When you save away your specific settings, it's going to save away the filter information as well. And then you have the ability to run more than one report at one time. And then once they're run, they will be stored in the default location in the model folder. Or here you can come in and define where those reports should be placed. Uh, so giving you more functionality and flexibility than you had previously. So again, this is available for download on the Tecla Warehouse. We invite you to download it, test it out, send us any feedback that you may have. And we hope you enjoy this new development.